Hi everyone, my name is Sabina Bruce and I'm a systems engineer focused on the MCU portfolio here at NXP. Welcome to this tutorial of the LPC 5500 series based on the ARM Cortex M33 core. This video is focused on the state configurable timer feature of this series. The state configurable timer or SC timer is a peripheral unique to NXP semiconductors. It operates like most traditional timers, but also adds a state machine to give it a higher degree of configurability and control. This allows the SC timer to be configured as multiple PWMs, a PWM with dead time control and a PWM with reset capability. This is in addition to many other configurations that cannot be duplicated with traditional timers. Once the SC timer has been configured, it can run autonomously from the microcontroller core, unless the SC timer interrupt has been enabled and needs to be served. The SC timer supports 8 inputs, 10 outputs, 16 match registers, 16 events, and 32 states. We're going to run the multi-state SC timer example code from the LPC 55S69 MCU Expresso SDK version 2.5. We will run this demo on the LPC Expresso 55S69 development board and using MCU Expresso 10.3.1. We have already downloaded and installed the LPC 55S69 SDK from the MCU Expresso webpage. First, we're going to import the multi-state SC timer example, setting the UART debug console for this project to be able to see the messages printed along the SDK demo in the serial terminal. In our case, we're going to use TerraTerm. This example works with state machines. In the state zero, the example configures a PWM at 24 kilohertz with a 10% duty cycle and outputs the signal to a pin. In state one, a PWM is generated at 24 kilohertz with 50% duty cycle and routes the signal to another output pin. An event is created to look for a rising edge at switch one, which enables or disables the state one. Now we need to build the project, then we click the debug icon to flash our evaluation board. In order to see the generated PWM signals, we need to place a scope in port 0, pin 15, and port 1, pin 3. As we can see, the SC timer is always in state 0, which means the 10% duty cycle signal is the only one enabled. But if we push the switch 1, we can see both signals from state 0 and state 1 are being generated at the same time. This is a simple example using the LPC 55S69 SDK to demonstrate the SC timer usage with two states, events, and a PWM signal generation. For more information, please visit the SC timer cookbook application note. 